And we're live. Yes. <laughs> It's been a while. Woo. Hey guys, I'm Sheila. And I'm Ruel. And welcome to the, the Commoners, Commoners Podcast. Podcast. Woo. All right. Today is the 23rd of May. And I just want to say this marks the 20th episode of our podcast. Woohoo! Oh, hang on. Delayed. Stop, stop. <laughs> Mahina. Mahina ang ako nga. Ano. <laughs> We haven't done this for a while, so apologies. <laughs> True. And we skipped a episode last week, so apologies, guys. Mm. But we reckon it Life would be... Life got into the way. Yeah, yeah, true. And like we reckon it would be a big uh, a big episode today because it's something that we've always wanted to talk to you about, guys. But like didn't really get the chance. Like it's not there yet. Mm. I mean, like it's not. we're not ready to talk about it yet. But are you ready? Yep. So we are going to reveal our biggest secret, guys. You ready? In three... Two, one. We, We are, are moving, moving to, to Queensland. Queensland. Woo! <laughs> Happy? It's been a long time coming. Yes, it's been a long overdue. Okay, so the 20th episode would discuss. Um, so what can you expect from now on? I think the next episodes that um, we're going to share. This is just a sneak peek of what to expect. Um Basically, in a commoners podcast, more um, we're going to talk more about the move, our transition, um, of the course, experience the struggle. Exactly, uh, <laughs> more like there's got to be a lot of segments as well that we're going to put out in our YouTube channel. So it's not going to be a long ones anymore, guys. We're trying to shorten it, shorten it. So let mm. us know if you you're liking it. Hence, um, we're trying to change the presentation or the setup in here because people were trying to make repairs. Yeah, true. And it's like it, we've been packing a lot mm. of stuff. So <laughs> as you can so see... In, on this side of the camera, yep. there's actually boxes. Yep. And you <laughs> won't see um, Ruel's Kobe wall or the Lakers mm. wall anymore because it's been like... Because they lost gone. today. They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 4-0. How does that feel? <laughs> Very painful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But you still bleed purple and gold. Mm -hmm. So that's still okay. Also, we're going to talk about more of our nursing experiences, a new adventure. Mm -hmm. Yep. And also our life in yep. general. Like a new. As an OFW. <laughs> <laughs> as we've always talked about. Um, so, yeah, I think we're just going to go straight into the questions, babe. So, people are asking. Why are we really? moving to Queensland? <laughs> well, this is... I, I get to... I, 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 I mean, your workmates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, So this is... The people that are asking these questions is that those people that we have already, like, told about the move for a while. So that's why, hence, it's not, like, out in the open just yet. Not even in our socials because we're just not ready to share it in a world world of course our family knows about it sorry again kento's trying to bite my headset oh, like. yeah of course guys it's like our our bobbies are here so they're gonna be in the usuals mm -hmm. <coughs> so yeah we've ta talked to our friends families and of course the people that are close to us here in canberra um the badminton squad um yeah workplace in general yeah work workplace in general so they've asked these questions a yeah. couple of times but yeah like why are we moving to queensland um first of all um you're tired of winter <laughs> so that's the main thing and um as what we've heard recently mm -hmm. in one of the famous american um talent shows yeah we've been priced out of paradise paradise is it really paradise though uh so i would say so. it's a comfort yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's it's a luxury to live in canberra mm. to be honest yeah but it gave us a seven years of luxury and comfort in general which Ooh, i wouldn't say luxury but yeah. well that's that's that, that's the thing because it's also expensive so i would yeah. say like it's yeah, okay. luxurious just like we were here. spoiled by how nice it is to live in here exactly like it's it's just comfortable it is yeah. and as far as i know and i you know as we've experienced both of us like everything since we started here as a student and 
going forwards to transitioning to our our and careers mm. and then straight to um our permanent residency and to our citizenship like everything went smoothly yeah i would say yeah, like Canberra it was, was a good run was or well, it still is a blessing a blessing yeah. always a blessing like yeah. i i didn't even realize that mm. like we were put in a place that we n- never knew we can achieve so much in in a short yeah, span a, of time yeah, yeah, very time. yeah yeah but like very lucky and I'm very grateful forever yeah. for camera anyway although that's it it is a curse at the same time cuz you achieving things in such a short span mm-hmm. of time you would always tend to like dream bigger exactly. like what what where where else would this journey take us true like how can we make it better yeah but then again like we're human so mm. um we're never satisfied <laughs> Thank uh, you, Wata. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi from Wata. Yeah, oh, is he always I guess, never. Yeah, I guess we're guilty of of that. Yeah, true. And like, of course, it's it's always a plan of us to upgrade. So mm. we're moving to somewhere that we know we have a we're gonna have a work life balance. Mm. Well, that's the goal, right? Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it's also like. It is a long time consideration, guys. Mm. It's not like it's like an overnight decision that mm. like, like hey. it's it's not the fanciest place that we're moving into, but we're yeah. gonna make it our new home. Exactly. Mm. And um we're hoping to do it for good. You think? Uh no, we still have <laughs> to build our dream house. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, a lot of pressure. Steps that. there's steps. Oh my god. Oh my it. god. This never stops. <laughs> I tell you what, this never stops. Uh, anyway, I think it's No, five years from now. Yeah, yeah. well not, it's not it's human soon. it's human nature to just actually try to make better of ourselves. And I think part of that is also be like financially stable to be mm. able to afford that. Um but yeah, it's just you know, one one step at a time, baby. Mm, definitely. Okay. So, second question was, did you want to Hang move? On. You didn't answer it. Oh, well, what that, was your reason? That, well, that's my answer. Um, we're all looking for a work-life balance. Mm, okay. Yeah. We're, we're looking for more practicality. Uh, weather, of course. That's one mm. thing that I, I did consider um, a lot. Yeah. Because, um, like, I want to be productive. Um, my, like, winter here... <laughs> Winter. But nursing wise though like when you yeah. say work life balance mm-hmm. it's because we don't um well we can do long extra long shifts mm-hmm. but we're still obligated to report to work five times a week yeah which true. is well in the philippines we were used to it but mm-hmm. in here is i don't know it's quite we i i feel like work is still busy mm. for us in ed it's never going to be like you know, you can really never expect. No, just doing eating. full time in general, I guess. Because yeah, in here, you you would have to, like, do your house chores by yourself. Mm. Like, you can't allocate those two days off every week mm. for leisure alone. Yeah. Because you True. have chores to do. Like, you have to clean the house. You do your laundry, do your ironing. Mm. Although we don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Do you agree? We yeah, we don't do ironing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I agree. <laughs> but I think. Um. Yeah, I think it's Plus just the we fact just that need... we have to travel outside of Canberra most of the time just it, to exactly. Yeah. I think like there's a lot of things, guys. Again, that we will I think go deeper maybe mm. in the future. But I think that's just it. We're just looking forward to a new place. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's a lot of places here in Canberra that we haven't been to. Exactly. <laughs> right. Ca- like you always yeah. say that Canberra well, is small, but I haven't. We haven't been. To a lot of restaurants yeah. that are really good. I've yeah. heard a lot of things, but mm. of course, it's pricey to eat out. Well, so. uh, again, it goes back to your work-life balance thing. You yeah, exactly. We don't have, because we're working full time, and like mm. the only time that we're off is like always on a Friday. Yeah. And if you eat out on a Friday, that's gonna be a bit pricey, and um, we don't have a lot of money. So there you go. All right, Ata, come here. You're making your bed now, Bobby. All right. Say hi, Kento. Hi, Kento. Hi, baby. Go and growl. Oh, no, don't. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Are we ready to move yep. on to the next question? Yep. Okay, so next question would be, did you want to move? Or whose idea is it to move? Well, it was your idea to begin <laughs> with, to move. And then? Do you agree? Yes. Or are you I would guilty say of the fact? I, I would 100% agree that it was my idea mm. to move. Um, it was It was a lot of thought. And of course, I had to convince you. Mm. to to move and we had to explore Brisbane so hence we went there last year right yeah um but then like in the middle of like the whole thing the whole plan I was like ready to just let it go and then just move forward here just discontinue our lives here because we have a good work we have good jobs mm. um we are able to sustain financially um we have a ho- home already so mm. there's no worries about that um yeah, so basically we're but okay. But then we have an ever-growing family. Exactly, and now we're a family of five, so we needed a bigger space. So we're just, yeah, we'll tell you more about that, guys, in the next couple of episodes. So I'm excited. Anyway, so did you want to move? Yep, I'm just dying for a change of scenery. So when when I told you about the idea, what were you were you hating it? Were you mad about it or? No. I wasn't hating it. I was um, definitely like taking advantage of the opportunity to make a move okay. and get us out of here. So you're considering it? Yeah, yeah. I time. was definitely considering it. Remember when I when I started my workplace? I said mm-hmm. five years, and that's that's that's. Oh, it. that's when it that's when it started. Yeah, because I remember I was nearing my five year mark. Yeah, and you're I hitting was, that your five year mark, and I was like thinking, so. Are you ready to move, or mm. is it like what's gonna be the next? Like, cause thing if I was you? gonna move, it and you have plans to move interstate, we just we're better off moving all together, just one big move and just make one a big adjustment, exactly in one go, rather than yeah changing uh changing workplaces in here in Canberra and then adjusting again and then in a couple of years moving um yeah interstate. Why not just pack it up and go? Yep. Yeah. True. And I feel like that's, I think that's the pivotal point. Like, w- that's why I asked, because mm-hmm. I feel like you're also needing, there's a lot of things that's been happening and then you were needing mm-hmm. a change. Yeah. 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 Um, and that's basically one of the triggering point. Like, I had to ask you, like, hey, what's next for you? Because I didn't give myself timeline for work. Mm-hmm. I just, like, I enjoyed my new job because I just, like, mm-hmm. I was still starting in AD. And so, basically, I'm still enjoying it. Um, but yeah, like you, I need to look after you as well. So your mental health Aww. as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why does he behave when he's with you? Well, that's what moms do. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what enticed you to move, or what? Um. Well, I guess it relates to the question that uh, came yeah. before that. Just a change of or the opportunity to explore bigger, greater things. Yeah. Yeah. True. It's not that Canberra is not good or great. Um, it's just that we can't afford a house here. Yeah. That's it. That's basically it. Do you think if we did get a bigger house in here, would we consider moving to state? Um, I feel like if if that time that we knew that we can actually afford a house mm. before, but we're going to talk more about like uh, buying a house and um, mm, okay. probably here, but we're not like real estate agents, guys. This is just basing on our experience, but we're going to talk more about that in the next, you know, next episodes. But then, yeah, if we actually knew that we can afford a house to begin with, not, not going for a townhouse um, because we, because I thought it was practical and you're mm. not ready for it, right? Remember? Mm. Um, it's in the vlog, guys. So if you're... <laughs> I'll, I'll link the the ca- um, the, link the card up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I guess I don't think it's going to be that of an idea. Mm. Like, could be- like we wouldn't have considered it like this quick. Yeah, true. And also like, I think the only thing that could turn my my judgment would be the weather it's always mm, gonna be the weather okay yeah fair enough yeah but if we had a house like an enough space for like mm. 
to us, like Team Chunky, it would be like here. It's okay. okay. Yeah. But how about you? Because you've already hit that five year mark. Would you think of moving and then trying to just change it or move if, to a different workplace? If that was the case, I would probably just move into a different workplace and yep. see how it goes. But like since 2019, we've always considered moving interstate already. True. Yeah. Like, because we've been. So sooner or later, we would have gone to a point where we're going to say, exactly. We're going to move. Because tra- we've been traveling a lot. Like, mm. we've always been to New South Wales. Melbourne is always a good idea. Mm. Um, Queensland has always been, like, every other year that we mm. go. So it's like, yeah, it's either one of those cities that, or, like, one of those states that we're mm. going. But, yeah, it's, it is kind of exciting. Um, now, are you ready to leave your comfort zone? A hundred percent, yeah. As of today. <laughs> As of today. So no, today I, I, I'm still employed, but I have yeah. done my last shift. Yeah, officially, um, guys, he's not he's not going to work for... Two months. Yeah, for his So I'm going to be job. broke for two months. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be broke financially. No, so we have to start somewhere. Like, we need to start packing, exactly. organizing stuff. Like, yep. at the moment, um, I'm trying to organize, like, a lot of stuff mm-hmm. with regards to us moving, like yeah, packing um, the truck or the removal list. Yeah, booking the, the removal list. Yep. That's the most important and thing. And then organizing with uh, the real estate agent that's going to be look af- uh, looking after our house. Our property, here. yes. Mm, so, yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. Sometimes um, I'm typing emails without realizing that I was, I meant to reply that to someone else and then I click send. <laughs> really? Realizing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's like, oh, you probably have the wrong um, person. Did they sometimes you're just to writing too many email emails all at once. Did, and did they reply to you? No, like I've that retracted way? the email. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, for me, I think I am ready to leave my comfort zone, but diving into the unknown is really thinking about it gives me anxiety and. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Like we've always like it's it just doesn't show, guys, because we try to distract ourselves. Mm. But most of the time, me and Roel, we're just gonna talk out of nowhere. I'm just gonna cry because <laughs> like there's always this uncertainty. Especially since last week. Yeah. Just it's random thoughts. No, no, no. What do you call that? Moments. Break. Uh... Breakdown. Yeah, breakdown. Yeah, because like we've been waiting for just to update. Mm. It's mentally emotionally dragging yes and it's a torture mm. just to wait for it like every mm. hour i was looking at my phone which is really sad because i'm like oh it's friday like it's not like we're just moving yeah in the next suburb mm-hmm. we're moving to a different state like altogether 1200 kilometers away from where we are at the moment yeah exactly so it's it's really a big step for us that it needs a lot of preparation, a lot of um, organizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Sometimes it makes you want to like, is this even worth it? Why did we even get ourselves into this thing? Yeah, so we had a lot of questions like that. And like, I'm just overly anxious of the unknown. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm always talking to you about yeah. this. Like, we're just anxious, but we can't talk about it in the podcast just yet because... I've always, like, I've always wanted that to talk about things that is really happening, mm. like, at present. And, like, we have some proof that, hey, this is going to happen. So, guys, if you don't, we're not moving for the next three weeks. Um, it's not going to happen just yet, but we are sure that we are going. Mm. So, that's why we're, we're giving you this heads up and um, update. Just going back to that anxiety that you were feeling, though, mm. like, it, I was. I I, I want to cry now. To be honest, <laughs> no, I was <laughs> really about it. very like extremely anxious for the last for the last week at least. We both like, are. where I where I was manifesting like chest pains, like I was nauseated. Mm, true. Like I just can't explain it. Yeah, yeah. me, I'm always crying, and you know <laughs> that. You know. No, that. I'm just anxious. I'm agitated. I'm just trying to grasp for whatever sort of reality that I can grasp into, like just to control something because it felt like. I was so overwhelmed that I've lost control about yeah, everything we, that was happening. 
And we don't know that. Hero it, decided it, to join us. It's out of our hands, basically. We're, exactly. we're at the mercy of um, the builder's time mm-hmm. and the progress. And yeah. True. So, like, yeah, things that are for me really unknown. Mm-hmm. It's just. I'm so frustrated. Are we going to get a job when we exactly. get there? Yeah. Are we going to be stable? Tho- are we going to afford it? Yeah, those kind of things. Like mm-hmm. the past few weeks, it's not just last week. Last week was, I think, what what where it was heightened. Mm. Like my anxiety heightened. But over the past couple of weeks, the job security, the, of <laughs> course, um, how it's progressing, any update. I just wanted to know. You know what I mean, mm. I just wanted to know, and then little by little, um, I think you've seen this guys in my socials that I've been posting, like how grateful I am. That means like we're getting some good news. So sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Mm. So sometimes we hear updates, and um, we're like, you know, God is good for giving us those kind of opportunities and some answers. Mm. But then eventually, it was just we were hoping to get an update last friday and it didn't happen but then it happened on monday so we were like we did we did get an update last week though yeah we did we from did. the inspector but no, then no, no. we got an update monday saying that it was gonna happen before the weekend yeah but that's the thing because mm. we were looking forward to it mm. if she yeah. hasn't told you i mean well we I got wouldn't. an update friday or thursday we got an update Thursday morning. Thursday morning, yeah, yeah from there, the inspector. Yeah. But yeah, it's not like really from the person that we really want to get an update to. Anyway, so. moving on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A lot of anxiety talks here. But yeah, if you've know if you been to the same situation as us, um, please comment down below. Um, let us know what your thoughts are. And if you're going through the same big move mm. as we do, yeah. Give us a heads up. Because I remember when we were still mm-hmm. in Jensen back yep. then, we moved. How many times did we move houses? I think three. One. You said. One, two, three, four. One. Mm. Oh, four times. Yep, four times. So yeah, were like you house. always anxious then? I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you're anxious then. You just four, move. Whatever. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, because it was just close by. Yeah. Like true. in case you forget something or leave something accidentally in that mm-hmm. old place of yours, you can just, just pick, pick it up. It up. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, okay, so moving forward. All right, we are nearing the last three questions of this episode because we wanted to shorten it. What it's already w- 22 minutes. Exactly. What will you miss most uh, um, in Canberra? About Canberra? Well, I guess um, traffic, if there is any. <laughs> yeah. He's Just being, the luxury he's, of... He's being sarcastic, guys. Just to let you know. <laughs> no, just the fact that it'll only take you like less than or 15 minutes to get to your destination to do groceries or do shopping. True. Well, that's why we tell everyone like er- everywhere in Canberra is just a drive. Mm. It's just going to be a drive because it's just close by everywhere. Like even my work fl- workplace. It's like yeah. 33 kilometers away, but I can get there in like 25 minutes exactly. or 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So same. Um, but... What I'm going to miss more is the community that we've already built. Mm. Yeah. No, true. It's. Well, I think that's part of growing up, though. True. Like, um, like (coughs) apart from all those um, uh, anxiety that I'm getting, I'm also getting nostalgic thinking about the life that we had here, Mm. the community, the friends and families that we built. Um, It's just. You know, we met amazing people mm, and definitely. it's just also hard to just say goodbyes Goodbye, and yeah. not cry. <laughs> but um, I knew it in my heart of hearts that when I told the badminton squad about the move, like at Shalina, I <laughs> cried so much. And of course, I, I did too, because it's not like it's an easy thing to say, like, hey, I'm, we're mov- we're leaving our friends, our best friends and it's not going to be easy, but we know that this is going to be good for us. And mm. they did understand that. So, yeah, basically, I just, I'm just going to miss the community, really. But it's not goodbye, really, guys. It's just see you later. Mm-hmm. Right? That's it. <laughs> okay. How would, do you think this change, uh, this change will affect our lives? Um, massive. Well, I'm hoping for positive change. Yeah. 
like it's gonna give us a different mindset or outlook yeah. as to how we're gonna tackle our next journey because exactly. it's gonna present a new environment new neighborhood um new people yeah. to meet yeah new community yeah. to build yeah. Yeah. there you go that's it yeah yeah um a uh, lot of opportunities yeah a lot of shopping malls which you're excited about not really <laughs> i don't know why but i'm not so into that recently because you don't have money yeah probably <laughs> <that>. <laughs> it's quite different when yeah. over the last year you're looking at your bank account and there's barely even anything in there exactly so that's also why i'm an anxious guys and i'm crying because mm. you don't have money we're broke but we're happy right <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> alas marisette you've like been pl- you've been on the playlist in this place. position where we were we did put ourselves in this position, yeah, remember? No. Yeah. So that's why it's like questioning ourselves over and over again. But we know that God has greater plans for us, guys. He won't give us this challenge that we won't surpass. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, And also for me, this would be like a 360 change out of our normal lives because we're going to... Easier s- streets, more people. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it's basically... Bigger like city. A new start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A fresh so start. Over again. Um, so it's it's gonna be exciting at the same time scary, but we are getting our mindset yeah. to it. Right? But I guess the main difference is the only thing that would limit us in this move is ourselves. Exactly. Compared to when we started here, where we were limited to our condition visa conditions, yeah. That we were students. Yep. This time, yeah. It's just gonna be us. Heads held up high, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. And this this move is not like, again, as I've said, it's not just like an overnight decision. It's just, mm-hmm. it's been a while mm-hmm. that we planned for it. So we're ready for this. Uh, not financially, but, but yeah. But yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're we, just yeah. mentally, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, mentally and physically ready, yeah. but not financially. <laughs> We're broke, but we're happy. Okay, I think that that just actually you touched the last question. Mm. So, are you ready? Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right, guys. That's con- that concludes this episode, the twentieth episode of the Commoners Podcast. It's amazing how we've uh, transitioned from first episode to twentieth now. It's yeah All right. can we give a clap clap to ourselves and also a big shout out to our guest who gave us their time and Ooh. our guest oh, like the, the guest the previous episode from the previous episodes yeah. um we're gonna try and um put clip bits or snippets yeah. of them like short clips or probably we can interview a couple more people before we go before we head off yeah yeah, yeah we can do that yeah. um but yeah thank you guys for listening again it's sheila and i'm Ruel. and this is the commoners podcast till the next one Bye. Next one. Bye.